Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to this CTFO Zoom event. My name is Adam Levy from Canton, Connecticut. Glad you could join us today. This is the Biz Builders Tuesday Night Live. We do it every Tuesday evening, live at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Coming up at 9 p.m., you don't want to miss the corporate Zoom. That's at www.ctfowebinar.com. All right, well, we got some great stuff to cover tonight. A lot of things happening at CTFO, testimonies on the Xanthomist keep pouring in. Uh, and when that happens, people get really, really excited. They start to pay closer attention uh, and they start to see uh, results in their own lives as well and start to look for people who might benefit from some of the amazing uh, testimonies and the amazing results that, that, that folks are getting from it. I uh, just want to make some a uh, couple of announcements real quick. Um, of course, there's a special happening with our Shape and Burn that ends tonight. If you haven't gotten in on that yet, Shape and Burn is one of our hottest products. Uh, it's great for weight loss. It is something that was put together by a naturopath. It's got 14 synergistic herbs in it that are really great for weight loss, uh, curbing your hunger, burning fat. It's just an amazing uh, product for energy. And if you're trying to lose some weight, uh, it is uh, on sale. The 30 count bag is on sale. It seems that uh, we offered a 30 count and we offered a 60 count. And of course, the 60 count being a much better value, people went and really focused on that. And that's really what they buy. So uh, that leaves our 30 counts just kind of sitting there and uh, they don't want that to go bad. So let's make sure we get them out the door. Uh, so they are now less expensive. If you buy two 30 counts, than if you were to buy a 60 count. And of course, that has been going on now for a few days, the sale uh, on those 30 count shape and burns, um, but it ends tonight, I believe. So if you haven't ordered those yet, take advantage of it. If you haven't tried that product yet, it might be a good idea to try that product as well. Um, so shape and burn. Uh, Super Saturday coming up um, on the 30th of this month. If you haven't registered for that yet, make sure that you do. There's product giveaways that uh, can only be, uh, you know, gotten if you're registered, right? If you just show up, you find a link and you, you pop on, uh, you're not registered for it. <clears throat> when they are pulling names out of the hat, your name's not going to be there to win the free stuff. So make sure that you register for the Super Saturday. You can find that in emails from the company. You can find that on Biz Builders, uh, the link to register at Eventbrite for the Super Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific time on the 30th of September. We do one a month, so uh, take advantage of those and build for them. Make sure that your team is plugged into those events. The training uh, that you hear on, the, on, on that Super Saturday is usually uh, really exceptional. Uh, this past Super Saturday that happened in um, the month of uh, August had a feature of the women of CTFO that are crushing the business. There was a ladies panel and they did an amazing, amazing job. So not sure what's going to happen this time around, but you just don't want to miss it. <clears throat> um, let's see. Anything else that I really needed to cover on that? Uh, a lot of doctors joining our business, all kinds of uh, great uh, physicians that are coming on board. You know, Xanthomus is no joke. There's a lot of clinical studies on the benefits of the mangosteen. A lot of science been around for a while, but what that hasn't been around is a nano delivery system of the mangosteen, of the xanthones, the active ingredient, to be able to deliver it in a liposomal nano emulsion proprietary to our business, our company, and then delivering it in a mist, an atomizer or mist format. Um, you're getting this directly into your bloodstream through the soft palate of your mouth. And it's, again, you're getting more of it <clears throat> than has ever been made available to the public uh, in this formula. And it's half the price of the juices and the way people have been getting it in capsule form uh, than has ever been available before to the public. So, of course, people are going to get amazing results. They're getting so much more of the active ingredient over 500 times uh, than that that was found in any of the juice products of the past. So. Anyway, excited to be here. Uh, this is a time of year where people are getting refocused. Um, you know, kids are back at school. Um, you know, it's uh, it's the really the, the best three months of, um, uh, you know, for building a network marketing business. And 
uh, leading up to uh, some great events that are happening. We've got the big event at the end of October in, um, in Orlando that Al Diaz is hosting. That one is going to be so much fun. A lot of great stuff going to be happening at that. You've got Evelyn Monrog is going to be there. You've got David D'Arcangelo, Stu Finger, uh, Kevin Fournier, Michael Swilling, Ted Wilson, Al Diaz, Cowboy, myself, so many other great leaders that are going to be training at that event. You do not want to miss it. If you can plug in and get there to Orlando, I got to tell you that my ticket from Connecticut, uh, my flight, including check baggage, was 176 bucks. So round trip. Believe it or not, I've never, I don't even think I've ever flown that cheap. So uh, uh, kudos to you, Al, for putting together something at the right time where uh, it was really cheap to fly. And the hotel is, is amazing as well. But I wanted to cover some stuff tonight. Um, we want to talk a little bit about social media. And it's funny because, you know, I, I enroll people on a regular basis and I, and I kind of watch what they do a little bit. I give them as much coaching as I can. Uh, but, you know, people tend to um, kind of you know it's like the wild west when they get involved in a business like this and they just kind of post things willy-nilly and um you know i i see all the mistakes that people are making and um i usually put them on the phone with al because al diaz you've been doing social media for a long time now and you're really good at it and i thought maybe we'd have you say hi to everybody and give us some some pointers on what to do what not to do when it comes to you know putting your business out there and really what the goal is uh, when you're doing any kind of social media marketing. Al, how are you today? I'm doing great, my brother. How are you doing? Fantastic, my friend. Uh, you know, we, we had a great conversation with uh, <clears throat> one of our distributors the other day, and, and you gave him some good coaching. And, you know, there's a lot of people that do stuff, and it looks like they're doing a lot of stuff, and then they're not getting the results. And uh, and it's usually one or two things that they can tweak, right, that would make right. all the difference in the world. Right. All right. Well, first thing I want to tell is this might not be for everybody, right? Because not everybody likes social media. And a lot of people are like face to face old school. But social media is a good platform. Not so much is to recruit for, for people for your product, you know, just advertise and try to sell your product. Basically, what social media is all about, you want to sell yourself. You want to show that you are the one that they're looking for, because even if it, whatever, if if you're selling a product, right, they're not going to buy the product. They're really going to come to you first because they know you, and then they're going to buy your product because they know you and they trust you that you're selling the right product. So when you're on social media, I always suggest and and I tell people, don't brand yourself with a product. Brand yourself by yourself. And don't list a product on your wall at all. Now, pure example, I did a post this morning on collagen, and I did one yesterday. Didn't mention about the product, but I did mention was what our product ingredients are. And that's one of the things that I did last week was I was talking about mangosteen. And I re people reached out to me and said, hey, well, you know, I take mangosteen in I reached out to another person today, you know, in college, and he said to me, hey, I like this post. And I reached out to him, and he's, he's going to order the shake. So, you know, it's, it's that kind of thing that you would get those response, mm -hmm. right? Where I, where I do post the product, I do post it on my story. And the reason why is because it's up for 24 hours and it's gone. So you let people see it for 24 hours and it's gone. All right, so that that's the only place I really post the product, and that's a the lot. Only, uh, that, that's a lot of where people make their mistakes, right, Al? Is they'll yeah, put it on yeah. their their wall, or, or there's they'll put it, you know, in their feed, and mm -hmm. it's there forever. And so there's no curiosity, there's no mystery. You're just right, right. you know spamming the world with uh, with xantho mm -hmm. mist or. Uh, our extreme shake or whatever it is you're excited about and it's there and it's constantly there and they know what you're all about without having to interact with you right right that's true that's absolutely right well I, i'm just gonna ask everybody in the panel right when you're on social media and you're strolling through and you see a, a product advertised do you stop and look at it or you stroll through it and see a post of a person that you saw oh that that guy looks sharp where is he at he's in new york or he's at the, at the fair, or he's at the baseball game. 
those are the folks you stop and look. You don't stop and look for a product. You know, if you're going to look for a product, you go to Amazon, right? You look at the product in Amazon, or you look for everywhere, go to the grocery store and buy the product. All people, the, all, all the, hmm? I was going to say, people, right. like you said, people join you. Correct. Your business. Correct. Not your product. They're, they want Correct. to join you. So what you. are you? What are you doing? What? How are you coming across as the kind of person that they would like to associate with? So when you're mm -hmm. doing any kind of social media, it's got to be about lifestyle. It's got to be about. Uh, you said if you're doing a promo, maybe you're doing it on health and and it's generic on the mango steam, or it's generic Correct. on probiotics, or if it's about the business, it's generic about lifestyle of residual income right other right. right it's got to have some, right. you know there's got to be they, they got to be attracted to you and what you're all about not mm -hmm. pounding them on the head you know with advertising hey, exactly absolutely right absolutely right <laughs> yeah that, that's 100 percent, right there's and you know people get it wrong because they say you know they look at tiktok right and that's all that you see in tiktok but it's two different platforms, right? We're talking two absolute different platforms. Well, Facebook, what you're trying to do is trying to just brand yourself and create communication and get to know people and talk with them. I've been talking with a guy, Adam Lowe's, been talking for about three months now. Reached out to me today and we started talking. You know, he's a tremendous leader. We had, he's already spoken with the owners and all, but it's just relationship, right? Uh, you want to build a strong relationship that eventually, it, that today is not his time and maybe the person who's looking at you and whatever is not ready for a business opportunity but maybe you made a post on on mangosteen and you're talking about inflammation on and how it helped you your back in that moment that person had a back issue read your thing and says guys i want to try this thing uh, and probably reach out and talk to you it's the moment it's just it's not as a like I always talk to people, this is not a, a race. This is a, a, a real slow motion, five year, six year program, right? Uh, to build a, a, a nice organization. And that's what you try to do with friendship. Friendship's the same way. You don't develop a friend in two seconds just by looking and looking at a problem. No, you feel friendship for a month, two months, three months, get to know you and get him and get to know you. And then you talk about business. I never. When I talk about somebody and well, on Facebook or whatever, I never, ever approach them with the business. Never. They always come to me and then pitch their program to me, right? And then I get exactly money and say, listen to me, I appreciate the opportunity, but I am not open for any other business. I'm already committed to my business. And that's when he asked, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. I got, boom, you hooked them. Right? right? I says, well, if you don't mind, let me send you some information. And that's how I do. I don't talk to them, hey, okay, come on, Ben, hey, Adam, you want to, listen to me, I, you know, I got a great business opportunity, listen to me, I need to send you some video. No, I don't even talk nothing about business with them, nothing. You, you keep my, it really generic and you, and you keep it focused on a couple of items. You have your daily uh, mm -hmm. words of wisdom and your daily motivation. Those are kind of yeah. two different <laughs> Categories, right? I know because I yeah, follow. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a wisdom, it's a wisdom quote. It's a wisdom quote and a motivation quote. I've been doing it for ten years. Yeah, and you've been doing it for ten years, and so people kind of get to know you, and they're like, okay, and then and then every once in a while you do a post, and if it's about, it, let's say it was about mango steam, is that mm -hmm. something you're doing on your story, or is that also on the feed? No, that's only on my on my feed. On my story, I don't put that on my story because it's only up for. 24 hours right right so, you, so that I, one's that okay article, that, that, right. the, the thing on mango scene which is generic is okay to be on right. on your feed but on mm -hmm. your story only 24 hours then you can talk for 20 you know for 24 hours it's up it's gone the people who mm -hmm. are following you maybe they catch it maybe they ask about it but right. you know it's not blatant in their face right all the time right. Right. Find it. absolutely right absolutely right. and it looks uh, like that I, I love what you oh, said yeah, about yeah. reversing about you, you have people that are obviously they know that you're doing something, you're up to network marketing, you're up to business, you're up to, you're an entrepreneur, and they're presenting you with an opportunity, or they're reaching out to you to pitch you on something and you say, listen, I appreciate it. You know, um, 
and uh, you, you know, I'm really committed to what I'm doing. And then they ask you, what are you doing? Now, I had somebody right. recently uh, who hit me up on a platform, um, one of those, you know, auxiliary kind of in the background platforms mm -hmm. you join things like that don't quite make it, but they're still there. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so he hit me up with a message and it was somebody that I knew in the past, like way, 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 like 20 years ago or something. And uh, he pitched me on the, those light wave patches or something. And, uh, you know, he's like, hey, have you heard of it, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I responded back to him and I said, hey, listen, I'm, I'm you know, really excited for you, but, uh, you know, I'm really committed to what I'm doing. By the way, how long have you been doing it? All right. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. And you know what his answer was? Two months. Uh, just, just, a, just a couple, just a couple of weeks, right? Yeah. Okay. Just a couple of weeks. Now, I've been doing network marketing now for 37 years, right? And I've been with this company for over five years. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously really successful and excited to be here. Um, not going anywhere, right? This is my last, my last, my last stop. And this guy is in, you know, involved for something for a couple of weeks. So, you know, I let him know. I said, listen, what we're up to, I'd love to run it by you. You know, I've teamed up with you know, uh, Kevin Fournier, again, we've got something that's never been done before. That's something I use whenever I talk to people. Never dash been dash done dash before. before, right? Never been done before product. Let me know if you're open, you know, to uh, chat about it. And that's, you know, how I responded to him. And so now he's kind of thinking he's open and it's not open, whatever. But, you know, that's what you have to do, right? You have to, you have to be able to, you know, come back at people and with a stronger position than they have. And it's pretty easy if they've only been doing it for a couple of weeks, right? You know, yeah, yeah, exactly. money, right? and he just, he got excited for five minutes and he's doing his thing. And I, you know, applaud him for that. And uh, I'm going to try to build a relationship with him now, you know, but that's, that's what you're yeah. doing. You're, you're yeah, doing exactly. the same thing. Exactly. Absolutely right. I mean, to, for example, today I was approached and, and I, I asked the guy to call me because I, I went to his web plan. I saw it wasn't basically a network. It is a network marketing, but he was selling a platform, right? Mm -hmm. So I was curious on the platform because he had some nice tools in that platform. So I asked him, hey, why don't you give me a call? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I think he talked for 30 minutes. I said, hey, can I speak for a second? Ask you a question. I mean, he just pitched and pitched and pitched and pitched. And I said, man, this, 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 I, I, if, even if they have a great product, I am definitely not going to be with this guy. You know, it's definitely because you don't want, you know, if you're going to join or be part of something, you want to relate with the person, right? You want to build a friendship. And so he just jumped on. He just sent me a message. And you know, he sent me the link. And I always open all the links to their, their product because I want to know, what their products are and what they're doing. And I looked at their product and this guy was selling more of a platform. And I said, sure, that's kind of interesting. And I always open all of them. You know, sometimes it's another company that's doing another different product and so on. I thought, then I asked him, hey, how's the product doing? Or, you know, what kind of testimonies you're doing? You know, but I never pitch him about mine. I don't, I don't talk to him about mine, right? Uh, and at the end, it, at the end of the thing, when we hanged up, he, uh, he asked me to send me the link for the Xantomus because he noticed that the reason why he reached out to me is that my profile says X Zango distributor and he was a Zango distributor so he was trying to pitch me right mm -hmm. so we, I said oh you're a Zango distributor so we're talking about the Mangosteen and he's still taking the Zango right and I told him hey you know I got something that's much better than that it's 5,000 parts better I go what are you talking about and so listen to me the best thing I do, uh, I do everybody, I'll send you a video. You look at it, you like it, great. You know, and then we, we can talk again. That's all I do. I don't talk about product. I don't talk about comp plan. I let the tools do the work. You don't and do the, the fire hose why, thing like that guy did. No, exactly. The reason why I don't do that is because, for example, um, you know, you know anybody? I mean, uh, Kathy. If I, if I if I you come on board and I tell you about the product and and I and I mention about you know talk, go on talk about the product and then talk about the comp plan, then you're gonna say, yeah, you want to just join my team? You're gonna say to me, 
man, I am not going to learn everything that Al Diaz just said. It's impossible, right? It's, a, it's, a, it's a, in no way I can do it. So, but I could say, hey, Kathy, do you mind me sending you some information? That's all you need to do. Let the tools do the work. That's why we have the tools. Right? We got great the tools. Videos. We have great oh, videos. We've got great, 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 great videos videos. coming out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the yeah. company is always use, just... right. The one I always use is the three, the three video one. That what the landing page of three videos. Yeah, right? that's all I sent them because with that, with that, if they're not interested, they're not. They don't need to be part of your organization. Absolutely, you know? absolutely. Yeah, those three videos are yeah. short. They're to the point, and they cover Correct. just about right. everything that you need. Now, yeah, yeah. if they're open for more after that, there's all kinds of secondary things you can send them and videos. And, right. You know, a, a lot of great stuff that you can uh, that you can. Yeah. Find. Um, wow, wow, this is this has been really, really helpful, and uh, I love what you're talking about. Friends first, right? That's what you're trying to do. Yep. These are cold people. These are people from the internet, right? This is. Uh, oh, let me let me mention something. What I do also, you know, yeah. I I go, for example, I, me and Adam became friends, right? And I go to his friends. I go to his friends, all his friends. So I go look at the people's profile of those friends. If I see somebody who's a network marketer, I request to be their friend, mm -hmm. right? Now we have something in common because he's Adam's friend. He's not my friend, but who knows? Maybe you know he's he does something else. He's not he's not in CTFO or whatever company he's with. But we relate. Just create a conversation because that that guy might lead me to somebody else, right? So you want to create a friendship, and I just send, I never send them. I just ask for the request for friendship, and they accept it. Then I send them. They say, "Hey, this means I appreciate it." Me becoming a friend, I like to get a little bit known to you, become a little bit more friends with you, you know, and that's it. Yeah. Really, we start a conversation strictly. You you uh, you play the long game, right? That's what it is. Yeah, yeah, I play the long, long game. Long yeah, yeah, game. yeah, you know. Yeah, you but it to, comes back. To. It comes back. Yeah, it takes yeah. it takes time. Now, now, having said that, it is it is a longer process doing social Correct. media. But if you yep. do enough of it and you're consistent uh, with it, like you've been doing it like for ten years now. Um, you know, you get to know a lot of people. You get to have a lot of friends yeah. and you have a lot of conversations, right? Mm -hmm. When people mm -hmm. comment on your stuff, you reach out to every comment. Is that correct? I I reach out to every single person that says something on my wall. I comment with a happy face, say, hey, you too, or whatever. Mm -hmm. reason why you want to do that is the outer rhythm of Facebook, mm -hmm. right? If you open and you say, do, do nothing, your that post is not going to show. But if you they see that there is conversations and people are liking it and you answer back and people answer back, your post will be up further up. It's your algorithm. It's how they work it. So I mean, you want to interact with the people that are interacting with you correct. and mm -hmm. the algorithm says, hey, this is a hot post and correct. delivers it to more people, strangers. Correct. Correct. Even if it says yes, Adam has a nice post, right? Yeah. And I comment on his post, and then Adam the comments back, and some people. It's just it's that auto rhythm that I did. You know that I answered sure. will push you up up more. They say you're more active, so your auto rhythm will become much better, right? So, but Fantastic. this is just an iceberg. I mean, I've learned. I've learned. Adam knows what I'm doing. I've learned a lot, and we and Adam have discussed it. I'm gonna. We're gonna do a four-part video series on on it, um, on on helping people on social media. There's a lot of stuff that that could could help us all, right? Mm -hmm. As a team, um, and and it's and it's it's great, right? So I appreciate that for letting me uh, come on board here. Well, we appreciate you, Al, for you know sharing your knowledge uh, about this, and because it is, it's a it's a wild west kind of situation, and it's changing. It's always moving. It's a moving target. You know, you start to learn one thing and all of a sudden something changes, right? right <laughs> so yeah, it's yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's helpful to have somebody that's doing it on a regular basis every single day. We all need to do more of it. Um, mm -hmm. I read a great post from Michael Allison recently, and he's really consistent uh, with his post. And uh, one of the things that struck me really hard was uh, you want to um, to be successful in our business. You want to become a creator of content, not just a consumer of it. Correct. So you find that your day is consuming, 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 scrolling, 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 flipping, right? If that's what your whole day looks like and there's no creation, oh. 
right, then that is a problem. Okay. Yeah. Right, you, you, you're not going to get very far. And it's a waste of a lot of time too, right? Yeah, yeah, and I yeah, understand yeah, learning yeah. things and you're, you think you're getting something out of it, but you need to become a creator of content. And here's the thing, um, you know, a lot of people are doing stuff that doesn't involve them being on camera. Maybe it's just a picture of them. You know, I know Timothy is on here and he yes. posts a good morning post every single day day <laughs> yep it's just his smiley face right i know you're on here tim uh and you know and he and he says something a little different each time but you know he's not on video right it's not hard to just hold your camera and you know be present for a few seconds and then you know write a nice post and uh and that's just one of the things he does i know michael allison he's He's also, you know, just doing a, a shot of his face, really, you know, kind of branding himself. Um, and, and then he has a, a topic and an article, right? A topic about something, about success, about entrepreneurism. And then, you know, and it's generic in nature, but um, really, really good content. And, uh, and so when I see it, I stop and I read it, not just because I know him, but because I've come to know that the content is great content. I'm really going to get something out of it. I'm going to learn something, right? So yeah, yeah. you got to figure out what it is for you that's going to be something that you can get passionate about. You know, I know, uh, you know, with Al, you're, you're, you've been passionate about, you know, motivation and wisdom, um, you know, for a long time. So mm -hmm. uh, yep, it comes across. Right. <clears throat> Adam, I know we got maybe about yeah five minutes left, right? Uh, a couple, just two minutes left. Two minutes left. Okay, so I just want to ask if anybody had any questions that we can answer real quick. But you know, uh, you know if they have minutes. questions, they can put it into the comments. And yeah, I can go. get to those. Uh, let's see if I. Oh, there's the chat. Let's see. Can, can't afford to go. See you in Orlando. Okay. <laughs> can't afford not. Oh, can't afford not to go. That's cowboy. You got it. <laughs> that sounds good. <laughs> we know that's the truth. <laughs> yeah. um, but if you hey, have a question, the last thing I, I, I want to say is that I just want to promote about Orlando. If you if you haven't bought your tickets, I don't know what you're waiting for. Mm -hmm. I mean, leadership were born in events, mm -hmm. right? The, one little thing, for example, I'll probably be doing a, a big um, presentation about uh, social media at the event. So if you haven't got your tickets, get it. I mean, if you don't have if you don't have the get way to get there. Just reach out to us. We'll find a way to get you there. You know, carpool somehow. But Share you a definitely room, need, you know, whatever it takes. Right? Yeah, exactly. You know what it takes. Just get your tickets and then worry about getting there. That's, That's the right. most important thing, right? Absolutely. Right. Well, I'm looking right. forward to so seeing much, you guys in uh, Orlando. And I know a lot of you are coming, so we're excited about that. Um, all right. So, hey, thank you very much. I appreciate you. appreciate everybody for hopping on Tuesday Night Live. We do it every Tuesday evening, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. It's live. And uh, we're here. We, lo we love uh, to get together with you all and uh, try to give you knowledge and, and really give you some inspiration on what's working and what's happening at CTFO. So uh, plug in and plug your team in. Of course, coming up at 9 p.m. Eastern uh ctfowebinar.com you don't want to miss the uh tuesday night corporate zoom as well everybody have a great night again thanks for joining us bye-bye for now see you guys later bye-bye